<laughs> that is the moment Jonathan Bennett told his husband that he will be making his Broadway debut in Spam a lot. Now he lights up the stage eight shows a week as Sir Robin. So I guess you could say his hair looks sexy pushed back in a wig with a crown on top. It, I mean, it really is. And the hair is long. I've got these long, Whoa. luscious locks of hair as Sir Robin. Yes. And it is the, the hair is full of secrets. Yeah, but yeah. don't you remember that quote from Mean Girls? Yes, of Your course. Your hair looks sexy pushed back of like Of course. That. Anyway, um, so that was such an amazing moment. Yeah. I saw that when you posted it, and I was so excited for you. And, and it went viral on social mm -hmm. media. People are so excited that you're doing this. How does it feel now? Because this was like a lifelong dream for yes. me to be on Broadway. I mean, it, this has been my dream since I was five years old, is to be on Broadway. And to get to step onto a Broadway stage for the first time and take your first bow, it's... You, you can take the kid out of the theater, but you can't take the theater <laughs> yeah. out of the kid. Like, I, it, you it just feel you like you're in today, high school. You yeah, leave. <laughs> I know. I was, it's just so, it's just the best feeling in the world. Like, when you stand center stage on Broadway and get to sing a giant musical number yes. with an orchestra and an all-star cast, like, there's no better feeling in the world. No, I imagine you're running on adrenaline most the of the whole time. time. It's so awesome. I love this show, too, so now I've got to come back and see you in it. But this seems like the show to make your Broadway debut, and, like, you couldn't have picked a better show because, I mean, you're alongside James Menorah Eigelhart, Leslie Kritzer, uh, Alex, Alex Brightman. Brightman. Yeah, it's an all-star cast. Like, to step into the show, when I got the call I was doing it, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. And and then you realize that every night you're on stage acting with Broadway royalty. I mean, does that scare you at all? No, it, it's not scary. It's supportive, right? Yeah. Like it, you feel supported because you have the best of the best. You've got Leslie Kritzer, James Monroe, Nick Walker, Chris Fitzgerald, Alex Brightman. And the cool thing about this show is that there are a lot of good shows on Broadway. Yeah. But there are no shows on Broadway that are this special because right now you have this amazing all-star cast and it feels like lightning in a bottle when you're watching the show yeah. because every night, Alex Brightman, you don't know what's going to come out of his mouth because there's moments where he gets to make up whatever monologue he wants. <laughs> the other night, he decided to give me a surprise and he started quoting the Calteen bar scene oh. from Mean Girls in the middle of Spamalot. Oh my God, And no. the crowd jumped to their feet. It was electric. Like, <laughs> there's just no show that is this special. Yeah. Oh, it's a fan this, favorite show, It's too. just electrifying. Like, yeah. there's something so really, really cool Well, about. and there was a lot of love for the show before it even started on Broadway. Yeah. So it was like, just... Yeah, I mean, you're standing on stage. Alex Brightman's quoting Mean Girls to you while you're in Spamalot on Broadway Live, yeah. and the whole cast is cracking up. Everyone's breaking, and it just makes the audience it's go crazy. It's almost like, is this really my life right yes, now? Yes, am I but, alive? But Michael Yuri, who I saw in the show, yeah. you're taking over for him. That yes. was his part. He has met with you and kind of like talked to you about the role. What did you gain from When I booked talk? the job, the first person to text me was Michael Yuri, and he said, hey, congratulations. I'm so excited. You're going to have the best time of your life. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Love him. He is, he is <laughs> the most class act person yeah. of anyone you could meet he he taught me the ropes he took me out to dinner he's like let me t any questions you have no questions too dumb my first question was do i have to memorize the monologue and he goes no it's in the book every page you turn the monologue's on the page of no matter how many times you turn the pages it's there in case you lose your spot you always have that to look to and i was like oh okay great That's but amazing he just kind of took me in and introduced me to every single cast member and was like, hey, this is Jonathan, he's taking over. And it was just the most kind, like, warm thing to walk into. Yeah, but you wanted to bring your own vibe, too. Yeah, I brought like my own vibe show. to him. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Michael had played one of the most iconic Sir Robins that'll ever be played. My version of Sir Robin is different, um, but I'm also, you know, what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah. Michael, I'm also stealing all your good bits. <laughs> So all the things that yeah. were amazing that I loved about his Robin, I stole and put it in my Robin. Well, because that's smart. I it's mean, it smart. is. <laughs> well, at the rehearsal, your spam fam dressed up as Mean Girls. I mean, did they? first of all, when you walked in there, what an honor to, for them to do Look, that for you. So, so this is our put-in rehearsal, and it's the <laughs> only time that I ever get to do the full show with the entire cast before I go on my opening night. And I'm the only one in costume because I'm, only one. yeah, you only get to do it once with the real cast. And I was practicing and I have to do it in full costume. So the, the cast all dressed as Mean Girls to kind of <laughs> celebrate me and celebrate being on the show. And also so that way I don't feel stupid that I'm the only one in costume. So Aww. it was a wonderful moment. Our ensemble and our principal actors in this show are the most warm, welcoming, beautiful people on Broadway. I cannot, I cannot praise them enough. Yeah, well, just a, a quick uh, shout out about yeah. Mean Girls too. the new movie. Have yes. you seen it? Do you like it? Everyone keeps asking me if I've seen the new movie. 
Mean Girls, and I have to keep telling them no, honey, because Daddy's been on Broadway. He's busy. <laughs> that's okay, a good I'm reason. busy because I'm in Spamalot on Broadway. <laughs> Haven't seen it yet. Well, that's a good reason. <laughs> well, you should definitely go get tickets to Spamalot. It's playing now at the St. James Theater. Thank you so much for for stopping by. You have to go see the show. Yes. It really is one in a million. It's like lightning in a bottle. Lightning in a bottle. Spamalot.